welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the only thing that really matters to any of us, and that's how we can be happy. See, most of us are miserable as hell. You know, a year ago, more than a year ago, I was completely messed up in the head, you know, spent the last 15 years, maybe 20 years, wondering, like, how come I can never find any type of lasting success, lasting happiness? It was all fleeting. You know, you'd be happy for like a moment and then it'd be gone again. You'd be successful for a little while and somehow you do shit that will tear it apart. You see, the only lasting happiness I've ever found, and this was told to me many years ago by other people, but of course I wasn't listening at the time, was you have to reprogram yourself. It's the only way to achieve lasting happiness. You see, in all those spy movies where, you know, the government takes somebody and they put them in a room, tied to a chair, and then they put over the loudspeaker, you work for no one but us, you work for no one but us. You see, that's real. That's actually real. If you are told something enough, consistently, especially with emotion attached to it, you are going to believe it. I don't care what the hell it is. I could tell you the sky is is turquoise, and you you tell me I'm you know stupid and that I'm a liar and all that stuff. But if I tell you that a hundred thousand times until you can't stand listening to it anymore, you're gonna go outside, and you know what? You're gonna look up at the sky and you're gonna think, hmm, you know what? It maybe it is turquoise, no matter how blue it may be, because Anything that gets into the subconscious mind is part of the program. You see, you have your conscious mind, which is what we think from when we're awake. And obviously everyone knows the subconscious mind is where dreams come from. It's emotional and all that stuff. However, it's also where your program lies. You see, your subconscious mind actually runs over 95% of your life. You see, your heart beats because of it. Your, your body functions because of it. it. It controls a great majority of your life, literally your life. Without it, you would not be alive. However, it also is the realm of emotion. Ever walk into a store and think, wow, that's I like that item. I'm going to buy that. But you don't actually need it. You like that item and you're going to buy it. Like, it's an emotion. See, emotion makes the decision and logic and reason is used to back it up. So subconscious mind is even influencing your buying patterns. It'll influence who you, who you try to pursue as a mate. It'll influence how you treat your children. It'll influence you how you treat yourself. And it's not like, oh, here's my subconscious programming and here's my conscious. You know how it works? Is if you're consciously aware of your program, you can use willpower to overcome it for a while. But because the subconscious mind does never stops, never. It will get you to act out these beliefs. It will. You have no choice. It will happen. Sooner or later, your willpower will fade. Sooner or later, your conscious mind won't be paying attention, and it will have them acted out. So, the only way I've ever found is that you have to reprogram yourself. Society, by its nature, is designed to keep you in a position of slavery. You are a worker for somebody else. You are a cog in the machine. You are not, you did not go to school to be a leader. It was not designed that way. They may tell you that it's for success. It's all nonsense. It's to keep, it's to keep society running. And society needs like 95% of all the people to be drones. And only a few who are able to push past the programming those exceptional few who actually recognize it. And, you know, of course, the children of the elite, they don't go to the same schools that everyone else goes to. They go to special schools that are, they get taught very different things than the rest of us. They receive more education at home than any of us do. So we have to, if you want to be a success, if you want to have lasting happiness, you have to push past the program. And the only way to do that consistently is to reprogram. And the way you reprogram is the same way I just told you about the movies where they say you you like work for no one but us. You do the same thing. You put on positive affirmations. And you have to start at the very basics. Self-image. 
I am worthy. I am successful. You know, at first it's going to feel like you're lying to yourself. I know, I've done it. You see, I was a total wreck, like a lot of people. Maybe worse. And I, at a certain point, it got so bad that I, like, I didn't know what to do. I just had, I wanted to help myself, but I had no idea how to help myself. And someone stepped in at the right time and, and pointed me in the right direction. And introduced me to this stuff. And I'd heard this stuff before, but I kind of dismissed it. Because just like as it is, society wants to tell you that you have to do what they say. That actually, the stuff that sounds like, you know, affirmations or mumbo-jumbo, that they're not true, they're, as I've been told before, some Confucius crap, which is, the person saying it is actually the slave. And when I did it, I noticed my entire world changed, and I continued with it. And then something crazy happened. Instead of just trying to destroy myself, be my own worst enemy, I became my own friend. No longer was I pushing with willpower. It was an internal push. I didn't have to do anything. I could feel the drive in the direction because I had sent in a new program. And just like it was using a program to do, hurt myself, I now had a program to help myself. And it was a total different experience completely different and I did it every day three times a day for two months I only had to do it for one month but I was so set on getting past this destructive behavior that I was like I'm going to continue it long past what they tell me to I am so dead set on helping myself I cannot go back to what I was I have to go forward I have to change into ways I've never changed before and that's only part of the program. If there's many programs in our head, it's a constant work in progress. But the foundation is reprogramming. If you don't reprogram, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle and you are going to lose. Your willpower only is so, you only have so much of it. You're going to lose. It's, it's inevitable. I, I tried many times before the other way of just willpowering it. Other people I know have tried it. It never works. Not not for long. This way works. This has been more than a year now, and instead of falling backwards, I'm actually improving greatly. This is a totally different experience. Now, I'm being driven to improve all the time. More and more, it's, it's it built the momentum, the program's running to push me forward, and it's continuous. I don't have to go back and say, oh, I'm so tired, i got to keep fighting. Because you can only fight so much. Now it's, i got to keep going because I want to. I love to keep going. It's awesome. It's who I am. Totally different experience. So now it's like happiness emanates from within. Worthiness emanates from within. I don't have to search out others to say I'm worthy. I don't have to find others to validate me. And in so doing, others who are like-minded find me. Others who want to be around this contagious, this contagious vibe that I'm like generating find me. And those who don't, those who aren't in alignment with who I am, who don't at least partially believe in the same direction I do, they, they can't coexist around me. You see, when I'm talking positive and all they want to do is wallow in their self-pity, and I understand it, I've been there. You see, you don't want to hear what you don't want to hear, so they kind of just, we just kind of gravitate away from each other. It's very common, but other people who are more in alignment with me, who more about care about themselves, actually, you know, I'm like a radiating sun. It's like, wow, a like-minded person. This is awesome. So if you, you know, push forward, reprogram yourself, listen to the affirmations of self-image, listen to self-worth, because today you may not believe it, that you're worth a damn. I didn't. But in a month's time, if you do it, you will believe it. And you'll get some, you'll get evidence before then. You'll get evidence within a few days to a week. You're going to feel different. You're going to notice something's changing. But in a month, you'll be a totally different person. In a couple months, you won't even be re able to relate to that person you are now. It's not possible. You are a new person because your mind has been changed the, at the core, at the fundamental level. This is how you achieve happiness. This is how you achieve success. 
you change the foundation before you build the house up. If you start at the roof, it just falls down. We all know the the the, the little story. It's like a house built on sand cannot uh, stand. You must have a foundation for any building to stand. The foundation is your image of yourself. It's your belief system. If you don't build that first, if you don't repair that first, the rest is just meaningless. It's just going to collapse. I tried it the other way several times. It just collapsed over and over and over again, and each time it was harder than the last. It was worse. So if you like the image stuff I'm creating, then go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're... If you're going to do this, go ahead and comment down below that you're going to do this. If you disagree with me, comment it down below why you disagree with me. Um, if you don't care, why are you watching these videos? I mean, seriously, this is self-help type stuff. This is like kryptonite to those who hate themselves. So, you know, if you're going to do it, great. Do it for yourself. Do it for the people around you. Do it for the people you love. But don't do it just... I don't even know what I'm going to say, but whatever. Do it. Just do it. You know, you don't have to totally believe in it. Just try it out. If it fails, it fails. It doesn't matter. You hate lost nothing. So, all right, I will talk to you on the next video. Got to go. See you later.